Kule. Welcome to the Real New Zealand Adventures Life in New Zealand daily vlog. Good morning, it is the 14th of February. Just packing up some stuff in the office now, getting some cameras ready. Heading into town, got to take a lady through to her doctor's appointment this morning. Hopefully it hasn't been cancelled. We're leaving quite early because of this wind and this storm that's coming through. We're not sure what roads are open, what roads are closed. We think the roads open into Stratford going our normal way. So fingers crossed it is, we'll get on the road and get going. Well, the cord's still standing. <laughs> Oh, there's a big puddle in here. All the rain's blowing in. Yeah, it never blows in there, mate. We made it to the car. <laughs> and look at the dahlias there, this like flat. Yep. This one's on two, there's lots of leaves. <laughs> We're in Stratford now, made it in with no drama at all. There was nothing on the road, really. Could feel a little bit of wind on the car, but not too bad at all. Leone's going to go for a walk around the river while I take the lady through for her transfers and see what damage is down there. Other than that, not much to report on. It was a pretty uneventful trip to town. So, I'm not sure how long this appointment's going to go for, but we'll see. And I will catch up with you later. I'm going to check out the Carrington walkway and see what damage there is and see how the wind's going. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Your camera on already. It's a bit windier out here. It is. You already press record on your camera? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Alright. Uh, see you later. My kids already missed them. Oh, I can hear a siren. Have a look at the river. Easy. Must have had a bit of rain. Rain. Oh, now that I've heard that water, I'm going to go this way and go around to the toilets first. Oh, they got a duck on here now. Oh, they've changed all this stuff. Oh no, there's the tree. Running a wee bit fast. Brown. <laughs> oh, there's a big puddle over there. Oh, look at this. Where'd all this water come from? It hasn't even been raining. Coming out of this hole. Holy moly! This is a big hole in the ground. Oh, I think it's moving. That's a bit scary. Wow, that's crazy. Crazy. Looks like they've come to fix it, I think. Oh, 
I hear now to suss it out. When did you know to this? I, like, 10 minutes ago. Hey. Just about 10 minutes ago, I just walked through and I seen it. Yeah, I've just been following it there. I've been doing it this morning and come back. Look at these guys are here. And when I sit down, I have to go up there and pull it back down. Uh, I'm yeah. just going to do this bridge, that bridge, and go down and do that one, but not the balance. Yeah, <laughs> so lucky. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go up here. Yeah, we're going to go up there. 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 Flood it over the other side. Actually, I might go down the road because it looks shallower on the road than it does through the grass just there. Yeah, much shallower. Right, I can carry on with my walk now. Going into King Edward Park. There he is. Good timing. That was good timing. The wind is, according to Knoll School, at 93 kilometres an hour off the coast of Taranaki. But that's double that, eh? Just about. Seems to be. According to the news report, you double that. So 186. Couldn't be that. Well, if it's off the coast, maybe. Yeah. Right, home time. Home time. Peace. Right, Stratford sorted. Very uneventful trip to town. No, I had all the excitement on my wander around town. A little bit. A little bit. You wait till you see my footage. And we're back, successful trip to town, transfer went well, very uneventful, just a bit of wind, so we're pretty lucky down here really. No trees down or nothing, so that was great. Just unloaded the car, going to get everything inside now. Make a run for it before this rain picks up. I said take a make a brisk walk for it before it gets too wet. Right, we're trying to find inside jobs today. I think we're going to head out to the shed and make a plan on sorting that out because it's a mess out there where we built Riley's shelves yesterday. My plan was to put a, a new, another floor in above the door there, across that half. Right over the whole thing? Yep. Because that's the highest part of the shed. Yeah. And that becomes a whole new storage area over there, above that side. And then all along here can be like for hanging the bikes on right up high. Oh yeah. And then have all the rack up here for hanging stuff up on pulleys up right by the roof. And then I just want the tools all down that end. That's all just... The little tool area. What is your plan today? I want to sort some of this out a bit better, but I don't know even where to start because everything's just got dragged out and dumped. <laughs> so unmerciful. It is, it's just like become a dumping zone again, eh? Right, so this 
That's camping stuff. Here's a hose clamp. I know there was other hose clamps. Yeah, they're all up. I'm putting them all up here on the shelf. This red one is all going to be small hand tools. And here, I reckon, can be all the power tools. I think what we'll start doing once we get everything in here oh, in and all the shelves set up is we'll get even more ruthless with junk. Right, let's see what the kids are doing. And it's raining. I'm going to use that to water stuff. <laughs> this wind is not letting up. Raining. My poor peach tree. It's buggered. It's been very, very windy. Edits, edits, edits. Edits, edits, edits. On a stormy night. It's been a weird day. It is. Can't really do much because it's too wet and windy. Yep. <clears throat> Summer.